So just to introduce to the rules of Benedict. Benedict is a very confusing old game. To show you a sample game. Any move flips the colour of everything you're attacking and the aim is to get a check in on the um, on the opponent king because a check an att check or attack on the opponent king will flip the colour of the king. So let's do another example game. So so notice an indirect attack doesn't flip anything. It must be a direct attack flips the colours of those pieces that the direct attack attacks. So notice, yeah, the rook next to the king wasn't a danger, but this pawn promoting. So those pieces, if, so flip pieces, although they're checking the king, um, they're not. Um, gosh, I'm not explaining very well, am I? Um, okay, so if I just play through this game. You're not allowed to capture anything, that's the problem. So although here pawn takes king as a threat, you can't you're not allowed to capture. And so the check has to come from the piece you're moving, so like from this queen, for example. Still, with the pieces they're moving, we're gaining a lot of control. Um, so So Bishop here flipped this queen. Queen here, flip the queen back again, bishop back, flip the queen again, and so on. But I'm still... I don't see a challenge. He's saying he's seeking a challenge. Oh, he's seeking a challenge. Okay. Let's go. This is really tough. This I mean, this whole variant is really tough. Um... So I'm going to go like, oh, he goes first, okay. I'm just going to go like this. So he could, for example, bring his queen out and flip my pawn. This is uh, an example. Um, I could go bishop here and I flip both his knight and his bishop. And now his queen is under threat from knight here. Yes, so it's it must be a direct. Flips are from direct, not indirect. Or pieces you move. It's very important. Yeah, b3 is not a direct threat, and so my piece didn't flip. So it must be a direct, uh, a direct move. B3 was, so only flips, B3 only flips the things that that pawn you moved attack. So he does this, and I do that, flipping the queen. Again, he could go bishop here, but it doesn't change, and then this get, uh, flips his, his king. So go to the main hall. Okay, that was a that's my that was a quick one. Okay, let's see. So we develop because the queen is a really nasty piece, basically. So opposite, I don't get the rules right, like in rifle chess in game one. <laughs> it's tricky. It's tricky understanding the the darn rules. Um. So he's, he's managed to flip me. So if I go here, there are no direct threats. Back. So I was worried about bishop f6, but actually this pawn flips, changes colour. So, But you can go bishop f6 and that now becomes a pawn. Stuff like this. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So I have to do this. And, I, and the, the really the one thing you have to be super aware of is checks on your king. So no captures are possible, just make sure there are no checks on your king. So rook takes bishop isn't a check because captures are not allowed. So 
So if I could have a bishop on here, that would be great, because that would that would really just flip everything. Pawn here changes the bishop, but opens up my king a bit, which I'm a bit wary of. Um, pawn there changes this into a knight, but you can always change it back. Okay, I'll change. Ah, oh, let's see, this is indirect, so it didn't do anything. That's annoying. Yeah, so how am I going to get a check on his king? I think the one thing about this position is his queen is not developed, and it's going to be hard for him. Um, but he can easily win back my knight, but then what? The problem with winning my knight with something like rook here is that I can promote. And that will be a direct check on his king. So this, this is a problem, actually. This promotion... Could I have done it last move? If I just promoted, the rook would have changed. Oh, I missed it. Let's do it now. Oh, let us think a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, if I promote to a queen, ah, oh, that becomes, both of these pieces become mine. Yes. And now he can't stop the checks. So, yeah. And now any old check will, will mate him. So that's a check. So it mates. <laughs> I lost 40 times against the engine in this variant. But obviously something's rubbed off. <laughs> so Oppa's, Oppa's going to try again. I, I'm not really any good at this variant, it's just the, uh, yeah, I think something rubbed off, that's all. So yeah, something probably a good thing in the future is just a rematch button on the board, that would be really handy. Just to try and play the game again, you know, chat, draw, board, resign, rematch, something. Let's have a look at the Twitch chat, which I've been ignoring. Um, not too many people in chat. Hopefully the stream's coming out okay. My sound seems okay. Okay, so the thing about this is I can flip both of the queens. He can flip one back. Yeah, he can flip one back, but then I can flip again. And now I'm threatening knight here, checkmate. He can do this, indeed. But why didn't, that move is an indirect one, so I get him. <laughs> it was an in, He needed to get my knight. That knight was actually a beast. <laughs> so basically, um, So I said to him in the chat, my training, so before we played the stream, I was just playing the engine again and again at Benedict, and just losing game after game. So I'm just joking to him that my training against the engine in Benedict paid off. <laughs> um. So, <laughs> so if I if I but if I just do practice against the computer, it'll literally kill me in in no time at all. Um. So I don't know. Uh, it just it just utterly kills me. It just kills me. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah. Anyway, never mind. Okay, so we're, we're going Benedict again. Um, 
getting the queen out, I've discovered, is a good idea. And just thinking, how are you going to check this king? Well, go here, he can flip it. So he, he could bring his queen out and flip all kinds of things. Uh, maybe just do this. Let's try and try and block up his queen. Not don't really have an idea what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to block up his queen. He flips it, but at least his queen is a bit blocked. That's the advantage. So I do this. I can flip this, but then he flips my queen next move. That's the only problem. If I can do this, that flips, to, and uh, he could go. He could take his bishop out next move and flips this knight, so that's not good. Maybe take my knight out. Um, that doesn't do anything. That just does nothing. He's still got bishop here, and then he has a queen next, right next to my king. Ah, that didn't work at all. Um, see, that, that was the move for next move, to get that queen to be mine again. Um, that's a disaster. Okay, so you can't capture. That's the only slight. But now he's threatening a promotion here. And the only way I can stop it is by flipping this pawn, which I can't do. Oh, use my king as a weapon. That's something I can do. That's interesting, because he can't take my king. <laughs> you have to, with the piece you move, you have to check. So <laughs> that was a very fortunate move I had. King e1. Um, okay, again, I've got to try and think, is any piece threatening to check me? So queen here will flip a lot of things. So I'll just do this. So that, the thing about this is checking me already, whereas it has to threaten to check me. So queen here is interesting. It will flip all the pieces around. But he can then bring his queen in and and get me back, maybe. Queen in here, and then, and then both those queens will be, hmm, that'll be tough. So how do I get a check on him? Could just go queen here, then he's got nothing direct. And if he brings his queen out, then I can bring my queen again and flip, flip him back. Um, Hmm. Do this. I think I, I think he had something there, by the way, just going going back a move. Oh, he maybe he maybe I, I mistook. Okay, can't allow checks, this is the key point. So can't allow any checks, can't allow any checks. So can't allow anything to move with checks. I I could re-own this, but then he got he's got queen here and takes everything over. Um, pawn here is interesting, but then he's got knight here getting that queen back. So this is very interesting. Maybe the thing to do is knight here that sh that takes the queen, and he can't get it back so easily because both these squares are captured. So that's a very interesting move. I mean, he can he can take it back with something like pawn here or knight here, perhaps. Um, yeah, indeed, and that's what he does. Hmm. So if I go queen here, then that pawn that knight will flip. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I feel like it's really weird. If I go pawn here, okay, well, I'll just do this. Just try and get the knight back to being mine. He can go queen here and, and flip the knight, knight, and pawn. So now they're all his pieces. Just doing this to stop the promotion. The promotion was threatening checkmate. I could have gone king here and then 
gone pawn, pawn, pawn would have all been mine. That was maybe a mistake. Oh, I'm beginning to regret that. Why didn't I do that? Um, do this. He just got simply this and then mate it. Kind of. Yeah, and he got me. Oh, it was check. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's go back. Rematch, rematch. Okay, we're getting into the swing of this Benedict. <laughs> okay, um, it's a kind of confusing old game. Okay, so you would definitely have to get your queen out quickly. I'm going to go here just to give my my king some diagonal protection. Don't know if that's warranted, but. If I could bring my queen out, the problem is pawn, pawn. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because now if he ever brings his queen out, I can promote this pawn. That feels a really strong move. So, for example, queen here can be met by promotion, and all three queens are mine. So that's, that's an awesome move. think it's a nasty idea but yeah that's true um, so the thing about this I could do this but he just put Moose's Bishop back and it's mine and it's his again so um, in the meantime if I don't block off that file Queen here is just checkmate. So I have to do the only move that's the only move, and he just backs off. And it's his queen again. And then I could back off, make it my queen again, and he does bishop back, and it's his queen again. So it's kind of annoying. I can't quite can't quite make it mine for good. Um So he backs off, makes it my queen. What do I do? Oh, he did it. He did it this way, which is also strong. Um, what do I do? Um, so what's he threatening next? Just, just queen in and promote, I guess. And if I just switch it, he just switches it again. It's not so easy. Maybe it is easy. It just goes in here and it flips it. Ah, uh, it's a tough old game. Okay, we'll try it. We'll try this one. I'm not quite sure if it does anything. I can't allow any checks, so I have to somehow... Oh, it's hard to say what I what I can do. I can go here, but still I'm not seeing anything. I think even just queen here and promote might just be might be enough. Oh, so so I have two ideas. Bishop here changes the color of this, but he just comes in with the queen here, so it's no good. Rook, oh, I can't take anyway. Yep. 
So I need to change the color of this, but it doesn't work. Um, yeah, he just comes in with his queen and invades. Let's go, let's go, let's do another one. I think Opera's getting the hang of this. <laughs> Um, and to be honest, playing this against the engine, I hated it, because the engine just kept on beating me. Um, okay, I'm going to try and stop. Okay, let's do this. So he does this, and I do this, but I really got to get my queen out. Yeah, I don't like the fact that he's just going to take his knight out, and that bishop's going to be his. Um, although I can take it back with these sorts of moves. It's got to get my queen out quickly um, before it's too late. And the problem with knight there is it's sort of harming that whole process. Pawn there. Pawn there is interesting. So if queen here, this bishop here, flips his queen. Just need to focus on not allowing checks. That's the, that's the absolute key. Oh, if I just go here, that's that's no good at all. Okay. Um, so what's what's he actually threatening? The, the rook is actually trapped as long as those two knights are there. He can promote this one if he ever wants to, but this is fine. Okay. So this. Hang on a second. I can pu push this as well. And now I'm threatening queen takes bishop. No, I can't take. Ah. It's annoying. Takes is not an option. So we both made a lot of progress on the other, but we can't quite mate because taking is not an option. Um, he can get another queen, but that's not so wise because I've got bishop takes. No, I can't take. Takes not allowed. I could keep remembering that. Um, so given that taking is not an option, how are we going to mate? So Opera's wondering, why is it not mate? So I'm going to say, taking is not allowed. Um. Also, it's not mate because the queen there is not was not the moving piece. Taking is not allowed, and the queen there was not the moving piece. So that's that's the problem with that. It has to be the moving piece. So if I if I move uh, f6, it's very tempting, but he has queen g3. This is a a problem. Um. So I don't actually know a solution. I don't know what's the solution to this. I need to if I if I get my knight out, queen g3 is still really annoying. So queen g3, queen g3, queen g3, what do I do? Um Go bishop here, and then that flips the bishop and the pawn to be mine. Um, but that's not. Maybe I have to do this. So this, he does this. So they both flip. So it's now his queen. That's really no good at all for me. Okay, so if I do that, the problem is it becomes his knight if I do that. If I do bishop here. Maybe the bishop here is the thing to do. He 
He's thinking of promoting, which is interesting. What else is he thinking? I think if I get a knight there, then I'm in good shape. Um, I can always hit that knight. I could, do, do, do. if I could hit the knight, um, he could promote. Uh, the promote would be an indirect hit, but then they go knight here, knight here. So hmm, here he could. Yeah, there he's already hitting it. So it's actually this is quite good way of stopping queen g3. So what I was worried about was queen g3. Um, he hasn't got queen g3 now, so I'm kind of blocking queen g3. So my threat is knight here to knight here checkmate. So he's probably going to go bishop here. Huh, where did that come from? What? So the threat is just rook here or rook here checkmate. I can't allow checks. So I have to do this. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is so annoying. Um, okay, so now my threat is knight here to here, checkmate. That's okay, but knight here, he can easily take it. So this is an intense game. So I had to move the knight back. So if he goes rook here, he can make it his knight, but... Mm, yeah, exactly. It makes it his knight. Um, so what do I do? I, I, I need to... Knight here is interesting because we're threatening mate. You can't take, so that's interesting. That's very interesting. But you can he can attack it, though. He can attack it. Unfortunately, you can attack it with queen here, for example. So queen here, and then suddenly it's his knight. So that's an issue, that's an issue, that's an issue, that's an issue. That's actually a big issue. Um, so what else is his threat? Is just promote, promotes a threat. Move the knight out the way. But then I just put move, move the knight back. Yeah, that's it's not an immediate threat. Um, so my main problem is knight here just gets taken with the queen here or a bishop here comes his knight and that's no good. Um, okay, what about knight here? Then that becomes my pawn, but then he can go knight here. Hmm, that's no good. Bishop here becomes my bishop, that's no good. Queen can't take anything because because it's all packed. It's all packed up. Um, so there, he takes it, he can't take, hang on, you can't take, but he can move it so that it flips colour, okay, so he's going to move a bishop or move a queen so this knight becomes his, and there's no real, I can't see a follow-up, but if I could go knight here, or knight, knight here, it's just too slow, isn't it? So what if I go knight, knight here? He can attack it. Aha. Uh -huh. So I have to be a little bit worried. Um, can't move the king anywhere. I could go. Could move the bishop back. I could move the bishop back, and that keeps his knight trapped. But then he promotes, okay, yeah, that's that's interesting. But he just promotes. So it doesn't work. Yeah, because I wanted bishop takes pawn afterwards, and it just doesn't work. Ah, oh, that's very nice. Oh, no, no, because if he promotes, those become his pawns. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. If he promotes, these become his pawns again. So it's very fun. So I can then take this, and they now become my queens again. Yes. What? No! The bishop also changes. Ouch! Okay, I was just... Okay, okay, that's really annoying. <laughs> that's so annoying. Um, 
Ah, so what happens here? At least he can't ever move this knight as long as that bishop is there. That's sort of like small mercies. So that's an indirect check, actually, this knight here, knight here. That's just the one thing I, I can be slightly happy about. Because that's an indirect check, and so he can't do it. Okay. So what if I go knight here? But then he could go bishop here, and then it becomes his knight. And this queen is of no use whatsoever. So annoying. Um... So knight there. Okay, if I go knight here, so it becomes my queen. What does he do then? Probably moves his knight, and then it becomes my knight and various things. Yeah. So maybe my knight here is actually doing really important defensive duties. Because if I move it, he has knight here turning my knight and mating me next move. So maybe I better not move that knight. What else could I do? I could go knight here, hitting his bishop. It's not really clear what that achieves. But okay, let's do it. Out of confusion. <laughs> this is a funny old game. Ah, so he wants to move his knight to mate me, but he can't. So this knight is actually really important as a defender. If ever he moves his knight, I move my knight back. He could do moves like bishop here. Ah, oh, so that's now become his knight, which is obviously not good because threatening knight here. Checkmate. Uh, and the only way I can stop it... I can't stop it. I can't attack this darn knight in any way or shape or form. So that's, that's very sad. Um, promote to a queen, I change his bishop, but he's still got knight here, check at the end of it. So, rip. I got bishop here, and that changes to my bishop, but okay, I can't do anything. He has knight here, checkmate. <sighs> yep, well played. Okay, that, that we're, we're getting some good games, so let, let's go again. <laughs> Okay, maybe let's go here. That was a, that was a funny old game. If I bring my queen out, I can make that knight mine. I um, don't need to bring it out too dangerously. I could bring it to here, for example. That would be a way of making that knight mine. And then, what does he do? He does this, but then I can put the knight, say, here, and then he does queen here, and it becomes his knight again. That's a, a slightly annoying thing. Uh, 
And this feels quite powerful though, so I'm still going to do it. Uh, in particular, I'm threatening knight here, checkmate. So uh, I think this is game over. Oh, there's so many possibilities here. But this is so tempting. Just keeping very safe. Get another queen. And throw in a check. Oh, it's indirect. Oh, never mind. You can actually suddenly make it his queen. How annoying. Anyway, never mind. He, he didn't do it. Um, if he had... Yeah, if he had done this, making it his... Oh, no, the knight takes. Yeah. No, yeah, that, that works. Yeah, the knight, the knight controlled the square, so it didn't work. Okay, I do this, this, how am I going to get my queen out? I want to, I want to get my queen out in such a way that I'm threatening nasty things. Noting this square is weak. I'm worried about this, I'm worried about the dark squares around my king. Um, but if I do this, okay, I'm just going to do this. So I want bishop g2. Okay, I can control the knight with e3 if I want to. I can never take though, so... Surely I can let the knight come in and then go e3. So I'll just do this. Oh, I made a mistake. He just goes knight here and takes that bishop. I still have to go e3. So now he's threatening. Yeah, we just absolutely have to stop checks of any kind. So the threat is knight. Knight f3 check. Um, so I could just go pawn there maybe. Feels very airy, but okay. And he's going to get his queen out, I guess. And then suddenly that's going to be my knight. That's my plan anyway. Um, and I want knight here checkmate. Ah, oh, but he got me. 